It's 1.30 in the morning. And I gift your feet. One last walk through my bustling streets that never sleep. The melodic and rhythmic beats bombard through various night bars and taxis, which leave you and your souls with a sense of uncertainty. You have stomped through all parts of me these past 100 days. You have ran, walked, skipped, fell, stormed, and stumbled. You have stood on me. As you approach the tip of the market, just near sunrise, your feet are stuck to the pavement. You are confused. You don't exactly know how or where it had happened, this change. How could this be? When much of our time spent together, you were uncomfortable. These past 100 days, I was only a guide. I guided your step through the top of Table Mountain in the colorful neighborhoods of Boca to the edges of Kailicha. I uncovered the truths of my people, the hardworking artists, mamas and tatas, families, drivers, settlers, students, lovers, and friends that live, breathe, and dance through me. I forced you to be inquisitive beyond reach. I gave you Nando's chicken, an obsession that won't go away. I pushed you onto trains of uncomfortableness as I taught, and you learned the complexities of my country. And I thrusted you into circumstances that questioned your identity and shattered whatever you thought you knew. But it's still 1.30 in the morning, and your feet are stuck. Your feet are stuck to my funky and soulful vibe of a city, and the journey of understanding my impact on you has began. Let's stay together, baby, let's work it out. Let's stay together, don't you even worry what they're talking about. Texting always keeps me guessing, letting these emotions run while we're sexting. Next thing always calms me down when I'm stressing, chilling after midnight, and you think it's kind of sexy. Uh -huh. It's funny how you're 24. Girl, these love songs, I got 20 more. So hit me up when I'm back in time.